Hello there guys, today I'll be going through the Jelly Bean update for the ASUS ePad Transformer. Uh, this is the official update by ASUS themselves. To get this you'll have to go into your menu, settings, scroll down to about tablet. And at the top you can see system firmware update. You'll just click on that and then check for update. I've already done this uh, and the update came through. You can get settings to uh, notify you when the update comes through. But, uh, yeah, I've basically just got the Jelly Bean version yesterday. Came through, and it took about 10 minutes to install. And you'll notice that it's exactly the same as Ice Cube Sandwich, minus a few things which we're going through right now. First thing, obviously, is the whole screen which you'll get, uh, which you did get anyway. And Jelly Bean gives you a nice scrolling experience. There is absolutely no lag here at all. Uh, this is what Jelly Bean prides itself on really just an incremental update like Gingerbread Rose to Froyo and this basically Project Butter, which is what Google are calling it. It's basically making everything silky smooth. And as you can see, it is opening the app tray. There was a notable lag when doing that on Ice Cream Sandwich, but since I've got Jelly Bean closing the app tray and opening the app tray has been really smooth as you can see. Uh, it's not coming up quite as fast as it is in person as it is on the sc screen of the camera but I'm um, pretty sure it's coming along nicely and you can see how fast it actually is uh, I have come across a few bugs, one of them I'll show you right now I have the Angry Birds app as you can see right here if I just tap and hold and I'll place it onto my home screen as you can see, you've got I've got this uh, weird black colour behind the font. I've not got that anywhere else. It's just an angry bird. It's not really a major thing, but uh, it is still a bug nonetheless. Uh, another cool thing, which I've just realised with Jelly Bean. I'm not sure if it did get it with Ice Cream Sandwich, but please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you get a widget, you can just... Well, that was a bit of a fail. You can just sort of throw it off, like so. So I don't want this Tech Resolve shortcut app. I can just throw it off like so. I'm thinking that's, I'm thinking that's a jelly bean. However, I'm not too sure. Uh, more improvements have come in the browser. Just to open this up for you. Here's Google. We'll go on a website I spend a bit more time on. Technobuffalo.com Here are a few... Uh, articles uh, as you can see silky smooth once again uh, Jelly Bean has actually done this I think Ice Cube Sandwich was massively problematic Pitch to Zoom is pretty much on par with anything out there bit of a white covering there of the image but as you can see you get a bit of white blank images but apart from that not much white space at all, no checkerboard, everything is smooth. Uh, you also do get a few fancy effects like that. Uh, also with the YouTube application, which I'll just open up. You do get like that, this pops out towards you. Oh, we'll just click on this. You get that once again, and then when you go full screen, it'll come up. I don't want to do any copyright business there. The, the problems of Jelly Bean, I've seen a bit of lag here there where it wasn't before namely uh, it sort of bugs where it just pauses and stops uh, this has been with only Jelly Bean I think it's basically because ASUS was so keen to push out Jelly Bean, it's not really been coded as well as it could have but uh, I think the positives outweigh the negative the browser has vastly improved for me uh, the browser was very buggy on Ice Cream Sandwich, it did hold up a lot to get a lot of problems with it uh, and having to force close I have not got that at all with Jelly Bean but uh, it's very fast as you can see once again it follows my finger really well and I think it's Jelly Bean's been a good update uh, this is the official one so yeah I think this has just been a quick overview of Jelly Bean on the Asus ePad Transformer be sure to rate, comment and subscribe